Ms. Medina, the court appreciates you returning to testify on such short notice, uh, particularly in light of the fact I understand that you were about to take a trip. Oh, just a, a short trip to visit a sick friend. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, we'll try to make this as brief and painless as possible. Well, thank you, Mr. Kelly. I'm sure I don't have to remind you that you're still under oath and you're bound by the laws of perjury. Uh. Good. Um, now, I'd like to go back to the night of the murder, if you don't mind. There's still a few things I don't quite understand here. Well, I, I tried to tell you everything I remember. Of course, after I fell unconscious... Oh, I'm, I'm not referring to the murder of Carl Hesser. I was referring to the murder of a man named J.J. Uh, Donald. The man we later found out to be uh, an FAB informant. In fact, he's a man that uh, Sarah Buchanan witnessed being killed by Carlo Hesser. He's this man. Uh... Your Honor, the people object. The people will sit down, Mr. Gannon. Uh, Your Honor, we would like to enter this uh, original photograph as uh, Defense Exhibit E. Uh, do you... Uh, you recognize that photograph? Uh... Yes. Uh, yes, I saw it before when Mr. Gannon showed it to me. Well, that, I mean, that is you with J.J. Donald. You have eyes, Mr. Gannon. Yes, ma'am, I certainly do. Do you spend time with him in uh, Atlantic City? Uh, I, I was in Atlantic City. He was there. We had a drink. Someone photographed us. What, what of it? Well, you're very photogenic. <laughs> that is your photograph. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, this, this uh, line in the middle, of it, isn't that where you uh, tore it and threw it in the garbage? If you're referring to any of the ridiculous allegations made by Sarah Buchanan... Is this or is this not your photograph? It was my private property until someone stole it. Your private property, then uh, it has meaning for you. Private, uh, personal meaning? <laughs> I keep photographs. I mean, doesn't everyone? Well, yes, yes. Is that why you kept this one? Because you cared for J.J. Uh, Donald? I, I, I met him in Atlantic City. You met him how often, dear? Once, twice, every weekend. Just how well did you know this man, Mrs. Medina? Your Honor, I'm sorry. Would you would you be kind enough to instruct the witness to... Answer? Your Honor, before the witness is compelled to answer anything, I am demanding to know where this is leading. Well, fine. Your Honor, the, the case for the prosecution hinges on motive. Now, they claim that the defendant killed Carlo Hesser because she witnessed his killing of J.J. Donald, and she was terrified that Carlo would try to silence her once and for all. Therefore, J.J. Donald, anyone who knew him, is highly relevant to this case. Very nice, Mr. Carlton. You can skate a little longer, but only a little. Okay. You must answer the question, and remember, you're under oath. Well, what was the question? Oh, well... I don't blame you. I, listen, I will repeat it for you. Let me uh, fix this projector before it falls off my briefcase. Now, the question is, Mrs. Medina, did you know the man Carlo Hester killed? I... Did you know J.J. Donald? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I knew him. How close were you? Very. I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't hear that. I said we were very close. Very close, Mrs. Medina. How close was that? We were evil friends. You were pals. He, he was my lover. So Carlo Hesser didn't kill an anonymous stranger. Carlo Hesser killed your lover. J.J. Donald, the F.A.B. informant was your lover, yes? Yes, yes, I said that, yes. Please, please, that light. Your Honor, I object. Counsel is deliberately trying to intimidate. No, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize the light was in your eyes. How's this, uh, Mrs. Medina? Can you see yourself better now than you see I yourself see, with I see, I see, Donald? I see. You look happy in that picture. Were you happy again? Yes, I was. I had been unhappy, and, and he made me forget everything. Well, he made me laugh. understandable. Your life has not been easy. Has no, it, it hasn't. Because of one man. One man who made your life a misery. This man, Mrs. Medina, Carlo... Hester, and because of that man, your daughter was sent to prison, wasn't she? Because of that man, you were blackmailed, you were threatened, you were forced to do his bidding, you were forced to that awful moment when you accidentally shot Duane Demerit, didn't you? You made me do that. Your Honor, Your Honor, what does this have to do with 
to do with anything? Your Honor, Carlo Hesse was killed for a reason. The prosecution claims the reason was revenge. We agree. Revenge was the reason. It was the motive. The question is, whose revenge was it? This man, Carlo Hesse, tried to have you killed, didn't he? That's your this man doesn't... left out dead and in a coma, didn't he? It's and now before that, when you reach for one I've given you fair warning. Any moment, Mrs. Medina. He took that away from you, didn't he? He didn't he? Didn't he? He killed your lover, didn't he, Mrs. Medina? He killed her and you hated it for life, didn't you? You hated it for everything. <laughs> For a reason. The prosecution claims the reason was revenge. We agree. Revenge was the reason. It was the motive. The question is, whose revenge was it? This man, Carlo Hester, tried to have you killed, didn't he? That's, you this understand. This man left out dead and in a coma, didn't he? It's and you were before that. Can you reach for one? I've given you fair warning. Any moment, Mrs. Medina. He took that away from you, didn't he? He didn't he? Didn't he? He killed your lover, didn't he, Mrs. Medina? He killed her and you were the life, didn't you? You hated it for everything. <laughs> didn't kill Carlo Hesser, Mrs. Medina. What stuff do you paralyzed legs? The paralyzed legs you're standing on with no trouble at all at this very moment when you were goaded by fear and anger? Tell me, did fear and anger also goad you into walking to Sarah's house and planting the murder weapon there? <laughs> like you planted a key with Sarah's fingerprints on it, Mrs. Medina. Yeah. Tell me this. Did fear and anger raise you up out of your wheelchair as they did just now and propel you up that attic stairs where you shot Carlo Hester three times in cold blood? I say yes. I say you were the murderer. Carlo Hester. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. I would suggest her so-called paralysis was psychosomatic from the very start, and at the very least, it was temporary. So what? You can get 20 doctors to examine Mrs. Medina again. But, Your Honor, if Mrs. Medina could walk on the night of the murder, so could most of the population of Landview. Mrs. Medina had opportunity. She was the only one there in the house when Hesse was shot. She had a motive, which she lied about. The death of her lover at the hands of Carlo Hesse, and now we discover that she had the means of getting herself up the stairs on her own two legs up to the attic where he was killed. She lied about that, too, Your Honor. Now, these factors all put together raise a reasonable doubt, I think it's fair to say, about the guilt of my client. And for that reason, I would ask the court for a directed verdict of acquittal for Sarah Buchanan right now. <laughs> directed verdict of not guilty in the case of the state of Pennsylvania versus Sarah Buchanan. And though I am amazed to find that the lame can walk, the fact that Mrs. Medina can stand or even totter is not legally relevant in this case. Therefore, I am denying the motion for a directed verdict. This case will proceed to jury. <laughs> Thank you.